Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Electron TV. And our video for today, guys, is about generator caterpillar. And the problem is the generator was running without voltage or without voltage supply. And uh, when we found out that there's no voltage output on the generator, we immediately stopped the generator and opened the alternator side and conduct a visual inspection. After an inspection, we smell a burn winding. After that, the next thing or the next step that I need to do is conduct an insulation test on the alternators all of the windings we need to insulation test And now guys, this is the diagram of the alternator. And this type of alternator is have a permanent magnet generator. First thing guys, we need to disconnect the connection going to the ABR and also on the rotating diode or rotating field assembly. L2 is the exciter armature or the rotor L3 is the main field rotor L4 is a main armature stator L5 is pilot exciter armature and PM is a permanent magnet and this RFA is rotating field assembly this is the diode guys and we need to disconnect the wire here for the main rotor L3 and the L2 is for the exciter rotor disconnect the wire here and the L1 is the exciter field stator we need to disconnect the wire going to the ABR here and also this pilot exciter armature for the permanent magnet generator L5 and also the output of the main armature stator here going to the EBR okay that's the all connection that we need to disconnect first before we proceed the uh, insulation test okay Okay guys, now this is the ABR and I remove all the connections on the ABR. And here guys, the F1, F2 or the exciter field. Okay, now I conduct an uh, insulation test on the exciter field. That's my uh, insulation test there, already set on the 1000. Okay, now guys, I test the F1 and the point there is not moving and that means infinity. I to test on the ground, okay. F2, no movement, infinity, and this uh, exciter field guys is okay 
or pass on the insulation test. The reading is infinity. Okay, the next guys is the main rotor field and the rotor exciter field. Okay, first we need to disconnect the connection on the diode. Here is the rotating field assembly or the diode and the bar store. I disconnect first the connection before we proceed the insulation test on the rotor field and rotor exciter field. Okay now guys, I already disconnect. It's a very important thing guys before you proceed on the insulation test. You need to disconnect because if you did not disconnect and try to test, you will be damaged the diodes. Okay. Okay now guys, we start on the main rotor field. As you can see, we have a marking, positive and negative. Test on the ground first, okay. Okay. This is the rotor, guys, rotor field. Infinity, the positive line. The negative line. It's the same, infinity. Okay. Therefore, there's no problem on the main rotor field. The next one is the rotor exciter field. Line 1, 0 reading. Line 2, it's the same. And the line 3 is the same. Therefore, guys, the winding is burn or have fault already damage and that okay guys the next is the pilot exciter armature for the permanent magnet generator first test to the ground Okay. Okay, now I test line one zero. Line two same is zero. And the line three. zero and therefore they have another winding damage the pilot exciter armature is also burned we have two burn windings after you finish this don't forget to discharge all all the wire that you test is connect to the ground After we make a report, company sent technician to came on board and to repair this problem. And the reason of that trouble guys is the bearing was damaged that's why the rotor was 
disaligned and they damage the windings And here guys now, the service technician of the Caterpillar is installed the new ABR They set up the new ABR And here guys, we test run the generator and everything is okay We test the voltage output 400 volts okay we also check here on the laptop of the caterpillar technician all the parameters guys is here and it's all good that's it guys finish for this video i hope you learned something in this video guys to all of my subscribers guys thank you for your support 
and if you are new in my uh, youtube channel guys don't forget to click like and subscribe to my youtube channel electon tv thank you for watching guys and see you in my next vlog